I measured my knife, it's just, just under 14 inches. So I cut my piece of PVC at 15 inches, and that should give me enough to make a belt loop. Um, bar stop. It's just the right size to fit inside. So that way I can press this down but not lose too much of the opening so that the knife can easily go in and out. And I can always heat this up and squish it a little bit more if I need to. This should get me really close. Give it a shot. Okay, move it to the floor. the first flattening. It's not completely flat yet. Uh, let's see if we can get this where you can see it. See it's still got a little bit of curve left to it. Um, similar on the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and heat that up again and see if I can finish flattening this out. Not quite getting that as flat as I want so I am gonna try to clamp that. I'm just gonna use the edge of these two pieces. Get some clamps on here, it's still good and hot. Let's see if I can get the shape that I'm looking for. Or the flatness that I'm looking for at least. These pieces of plywood aren't, uh, aren't as stiff as a 2x4 would be, but hopefully they'll be stiff enough with enough clamps to do the job. I get some C clamps in between those. Maybe that'll do it. One of the blacksmiths that I follow on YouTube had a uh, tip the other day about clamps. And his tip was, every time you go to the tool store, just pick one up, one or two, and you don't have to get expensive ones, um, you know, but get various sizes and various types, and just get one or two clamps whenever you go. And before you know it, you'll have a, a pretty good selection of clamps around the shop, and you never know when they might come in handy. And... Uh, I took that advice and I started picking up a couple of clamps here and there. Um, haven't spent any great deal of money on them. These that I'm using right now I think were uh, a couple of bucks a piece. And uh, I've already used them probably half a dozen times. So it's good advice. Let's see if I can get a shot here of the end. 
yeah there we go I think we can see that so it's pretty flat um, that bar is the same thing you can't really tell by the end because it's mushroomed out a little bit from being beat on um, but that bar is the same thickness as the blade the tang rather on my knife um, so that should give it just the perfect amount of thickness for that knife to fit in. Okay, let's take our clamps off and see what it looks like. It's been cooling for about, oh, probably 20-30 minutes now. Wasn't really paying attention to it, I was just doing other things, so... That's what we were looking for. So, as you can see, it's much flatter. That's flat enough now. so far that's what I have so far and I can use the belt sander to shape the sides <clears throat> and that's the tab this is the tab that I'm going to use to I'm going to use this to bend over to make the belt loop so it'll only be about that tall but it'll bend over and touch and make a belt loop and then I can get this the proper thickness so that my blade fits in good with the with the handle thickness. I'll do some mold. Okay, so everything fits good till about there. It gets pretty tight. So what I need to do is warm up the piece that's going to be the belt loop. <clears throat> I need to bend it over anyways. So I'm going to warm it up, bend it over, and then I'm going to shape. Actually, I'll probably shape this first, but in the back of it, I need to give it a a little bit of a dip to fit this. So. Do that.
I started out with this two inch uh, Schedule 40 PVC making the sheath for this new knife and I just I wasn't happy with how big it was uh, there was too much space it was flopping around and I could have shaped it some more and stopped that but I just felt like this was too big so what I did is I just started over I did the exact same thing as this but I've, I've got an inch and a half schedule 40 and I think that's gonna fit the knife well it does fit the knife much better um, it's nice and snug. I mean, you can see it snugs up as soon as you get it in there. So there's there's no wiggling, you know, no movement. If you're trekking through the woods and uh, you're taking this as your hunting knife or something, you definitely don't want that thing making any noise. So, so that was more of what I was going. Up. And this is fit to be a right-handed holster. Uh, I could flip the knife over and do some more shaping and make it a left-handed, but for the time being this is fit to be right-handed, so fits in nice and snug, so there's no movement, no rattling, no chance of your knife falling out while you're trekking through the woods. So, thanks for watching.